Welcome again, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm with Tina Timmons, who is uh, Michael Timmons' wife and also in Michigan. And she runs uh, essentially the Timmons uh, studio out in Michigan. And she's involved in so many different things uh, for the studio. But her role with the PPA is really interesting because she's the president of PPA Charities. So when I heard about that, I was... I was curious, like, what is PPA Charities and what is what is her role and what does she do? So welcome to the show. Thanks so much. Glad to be here. So tell us a little bit about your background. You're a full-time uh, you know, photographer. You still work with families and kids. Um, you know, certainly uh, you're involved in uh, the business uh, it, it, rather intricately in, in terms of uh, Michael's fine art work, uh, being able to display them in businesses and things like that. But what is your role with PPA? What did, tell us a little bit about the PPA charities. Well, I've been involved in PPA for uh, the same amount of time since 1983, about 32 years. Um, have recently been involved quite a bit. Actually, I'm the um, past president of our state group, PPM, um, the president of our local group, and then the PPA charities president. PPA Charities is probably the biggest um, part of my role in PPA right now. Um, it's a long-standing uh, charitable group that's run within PPA, and um, brand new, just started March 1st also as the president. Okay. Um, what we do is um, basically all of our efforts throughout the year are um, in helping photographers and helping you know, others, like we have... Uh, organization that we work with called Operation Smile. That's right. We're yep. just finishing up the uh, Celebration of Smiles Day, which happened at the beginning of April. We've still got some studios that are working on that throughout April and into May. Um, with that collection, then uh, those donations that go uh, that we get go back to Operation Smile. But um, we've chosen to diversify quite a bit in the last couple of years, and we've added a bunch of different things um, in addition to Operation Smile, which has been our kind of our main goal for the last few years. Um, Don Noel Moore is one of the newer ones that we are working working with who, who are photography based uh, uh, organization also with uh, with Travis and Lori mm -hmm. um, and that helps orphan children um, this year we just gave a donation to our affiliate our PPA affiliate schools the schools um, each school that was uh, affiliated through PPA got a $400 scholarship so we were able to give back to our own photographers which is you know also I mean we love to help the children and and help everybody around the world but um, we want to also be able to help um, you know those in our in our own area and and uh, the the educational end of it for photography seemed to be just a, a great fit we get a lot of support from the schools, so we wanted to give back uh, to them. And in the past, we've also done the personal tragedy, things like Katrina, and, you know, reached out to photographers who have been, um, you know, struck by a natural disaster or, or, or whatever. Um, in the fall, we have uh, Family Portrait Month, and that's something that, again instead of the celebrate the smile day where it's just more of an individual or a child this is geared towards the studios being able to collect and and do and work with the family groups so um you know those are some of the things that are going on uh, at imaging uh, this past year we had a 5k run uh, which was very successful for its first adventure and um, we created kind of a new group of people health oriented you know also photographers and we hope to also do that in Atlanta for next year and and work even with local running groups um, just again to get the word out and and let people know that uh, you know this really great charitable organization and you know the more we get out there the more the more people that know about us the the more we're going to be able to do and um, we're reaching the million dollar mark for donations since ppa wow. charities um has began so okay. um when was that <clears throat> when was that tina I, you know what i i it's been around for quite a few years and and i don't know an exact date they started and then they kind of lost interest and then they and then they drew the interest back um you know many years ago um okay. and, and uh we've also got some other exciting things in the works this year we did um in addition to the 5k well every year at imaging we do an event a grand opening event it's the night before 
the PPA convention actually starts and it's an auction and that's one of our bigger fundraisers throughout the year but this year um, we were able to work with the PPA board and staff and also um, get our vendors to work with us on what we call the dream studio giveaway and what that was was this year we um, got over fifty thousand dollars worth of um, donations whether it be equipment or um, software backgrounds props anything that would be like for a for a beginning studio to be able to do a dream studio makeover and uh, and have everything that they would need and um, <clears throat> that this year was uh, the, probably one of the most exciting things that I had ever been involved with we were in hopes that the person we gave it away at the trade show at the closing end of the trade show at imaging and we were hoping that the winner would be there and it happened that he was and it happened that it actually was somebody from Michigan that we knew oh, and wonderful. so I was screaming like a fool and it was so exciting and we're in the process just okay. in the next month or two to go to his studio I think it'll be in June to go to his studio and actually implement everything and, and get the the studio remade for him so you know that's pretty exciting we have a uh, an ambassador program for people throughout the each state or or local affiliate that we can have one rep, one or more representatives from each area that can talk about what what charities is doing and and bring awareness to to that and we have um, a speaker team that we're representing so um, the, the charities group can has this list of I think it's about 40 strong right now where if a state needs a speaker um, they can come to us and and we can get it worked out so where you know monetarily it can be a benefit for both um, and then we also have an, an impact award which is a um, print competition award that we're starting so we've just got our fingers in all kinds of things and, and trying to you know just yeah it, it, it really is it's yeah. been it's been great fun what is what is in your mind what is it that uh, is important for an organization like the PPA to be involved in charitable or uh, you know, initiatives like the ones you just mentioned. Why is it so important for the PPA to be involved in so many different things? I I really feel that the more that you're able to give, um, the more you, you know, the more benefits you reap in, in, in return. Um, I know one of the things I had been involved in last spring was uh, the, the collection of the shoes for Dondo Amour. And um, I ended up with about, I don't know, 12 or 1300 pairs of shoes in my studio, but it felt good. And that was something that people could do without a monetary uh, involvement. They could just give, you know, something that they had laying around that we take such for granted and, and people in the U.S. throw away where these children in, in these orphanages have never even seen a pair of shoes. So, you know, it just, it's a feel good thing. And I, and I think the more that you can do that way, you know, you just, you get it back in kind. Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for telling us a little bit about PPA charities. And uh, it's one of the things that I feel uh, photographers who are busy, you know, obviously creating businesses for themselves uh, can also get involved in because uh, whether we like it or not, I mean, you're right. I mean, giving feels good. Giving feels uh, right. Uh, but giving can also be, you know, beneficial for us from a business standpoint as well. We get noticed uh, locally or interna or nationally at least Definitely. for being involved in something uh, like that. Uh, now, let me ask you one last question. If there was a charity that wanted to be considered, uh, how would that how would that charity approach uh, being one of the, I guess, the beneficiaries of uh, the PPA charities? And that's a great question because our diversification plan that we've just put into process this last about year and a half or so uh, gives that, that benefit. Um, anybody can uh, go on to the website and fill out the paperwork and, and you know, request to be for their charity or, or even if it's a specific person, whatever the case may be, um, that's, that's all now available. All that information is on the, on the PPACharities.com website and, um, you know, we meet a few times a year and able to uh, look over those there's you know specific requirements that they have to fill out and such but that that's been a huge part of the diversification plan and and you know there's it, it, a lot of times it's it's not only money that can help people there's all kinds of things we've we've got a couple of new things in the works that um, we're hoping to maybe add on veterans and and uh, there's a, a plan that's for clean water and you know there's all kinds of things that they're that they're open-minded to and mm -hmm. and uh, you know again the, the more the more organizations you work with the more people that 
you know, that might be their soft spot in their heart. And, and then we're going to be able to do even more good. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining me today, Tina. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. All right. Thanks. Mm-hmm.